Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code at the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will review the importance of phosphorus and how it is cycled throughout the living and non-living parts of ecosystems. So let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can explain the importance of phosphorus and how it is cycled throughout the living and non-living parts of ecosystems. Phosphorus is an essential nutrient for plants, animals, and other organisms. Organic molecules that contain phosphorus include DNA, RNA, ATP, and the phospholipids that make up cell membranes. Phosphorus is also found in human bones and teeth, and it helps the human body maintain acid-base homeostasis. The phosphorus cycle is the biogeochemical cycle in which phosphorus moves through rocks, water, and living things. Unlike many other biogeochemical cycles, the atmosphere does not play a significant role in the cycling of phosphorus because phosphorus and phosphorus-based compounds are not gases at the typical ranges of temperature and pressure found on Earth. In simpler terms, phosphorus is too heavy to be cycled through the atmosphere. The way phosphorus cycles through terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems is illustrated in the following diagram. Phosphorus cycles quickly through living things, but very slowly through the abiotic components of ecosystems, making the overall phosphorus cycle one of the slowest biogeochemical cycles. The phosphorus cycle can be broken down into four simple steps. Step one, weathering. Step two, absorption by plants. Step three, absorption by animals and step four, return to the environment through decomposition. Let's start off with step one. Step one, weathering. Despite the fact that phosphorus is most commonly found in rocks, the phosphorus cycle starts in the Earth's crust. Weathering and erosion causes phosphate salts to break from the rocks. The salts wash away into the ground where they get mixed in the soil. Notice how the rainfall in the diagram causes weathering and erosion which washes phosphorus down into land and water bodies. Now on to step two. Step two, absorption by plants. Plants absorb phosphate salts dissolved in soil water. It is worth noting that the quantities of phosphorus in the soil are normally small. This makes it one of the main factors that undermine or limit plant growth. That explains why we often apply phosphate fertilizers on agricultural land to compensate or make up for the lack of phosphate in the soil. In addition, aquatic plants absorb inorganic phosphorus from water and the bottom layer of water bodies. Quick check for understanding. How do water and land herbivores obtain or get phosphorus into their body? Pause the video and take one minute to write your response. You got this. Now on to step three. Step three, absorption by animals. Animals absorb phosphorus by eating plants or plant eating animals. Namely, both water and land plants are consumed by herbivorous animals, birds, and fish. Therefore, the organic form of phosphorus is transferred to the next level of consumers. Hence, the carnivores obtain phosphorus by eating herbivores. Quick question, how do you obtain or get phosphorus into your body? Pause the video and take one minute to think, pair, and share with the partner. After you share out, we move on to step four. Step four, return the phosphorus back to the ecosystem. When plants, animals, birds, and fish die, they are deposited in soil and water bodies. Under conducive or beneficial environmental conditions, bacteria and other microbes decompose the dead organisms. During decomposition, the organic form of phosphorus is converted into an inorganic form, which is then recycled to the soil and water. Quick check for understanding. How does phosphorus cycle back to the living parts of an ecosystem after being recycled to the soil and water? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your response. We can't wait to hear all of your brilliant responses. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining the importance of phosphorus and how it is cycled throughout the living and non-living parts of ecosystems by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record the results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep, keep going, going because, because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, 
And also, scan the QR code to contact us and support more of our awesome content and material. Peace, Peace and have a positive, productive day. Because it's really not just style, Rogers. You're right. It's hers. No!